You know, when it comes to modifying an SUV, there are usually two schools of thought. The first is the big, rugged, off-road look with bigger tires and bumpers. The second is the lowered, smooth street look with a lot of billet and chrome. And when you're talking about a Cadillac like this, well, most people think that you're going to do the street look because that's what everybody does. But what if we took a Cadillac in the other direction? Yeah, that could be pretty cool. So we borrowed this Cadillac Escalade from country music artist Jason Sturgeon. See if we can slap a little off-road mojo on it. I'm country through and through, but I've got this stuff in me that, you know, those rock things that just, I don't know, it finds its way out. I grew up on country. Country wasn't cool. There was a gun in the rack of my truck in the parking lot of school. Since Jason is a hardcore off-roader, we figured it would be great to connect that with his love for country music and the music industry's obsession with Cadillacs. There's such a history with Cadillac yeah. in country music. And John and Cash is one piece at a time, yeah. stealing all the parts to make the Cycle Billy Cadillac. Yeah. I want a Cycle Billy Cadillac. You can take out pop culture music and put it in the ground. Now, obviously, we can't go too big here because this is a daily driver and something that's going to be used primarily on the street. So we need something in the ballpark of about a three inch lift. So we went to the guys at Skyjacker, got a three and a half inch suspension lift for the GM trucks and SUVs. Check it out. Now, as you can see, this is a fairly simple system. Not a lot of parts on this table. For the front lift, you have a couple of big cross members, then these huge steering knuckles, then some spacers and brackets and hardware. Then for the rear, you have new lower links, a couple of new coil springs, and then once again, some brackets and hardware. This is a system that the average gearhead should be able to install in his garage over the weekend, even if you don't have a floor lift. <laughs> With the truck in the air and the wheels off, the first step is to get the front brake calipers out of the way. Then disconnect the sway bar end links and remove the sway bar. Follow that by removing the steering knuckles, the struts, the A-arms, and the axle shafts. Finally, remove the rear cross member, pull out the front differential. And that's really all there is to the front disassembly. Now, I know it looks like an Escalade front end just exploded all over the place. But the good news is almost every one of these pieces is going to be reused. Basically, what this kit does is lower everything down to give us the lift that we need. So the first thing we're going to put on are these aluminum spacers that are going to drop the differential down. Then we'll get the differential back in place. The new cross members go in next using the supplied hardware. Then the stock A arms bolt to the cross members. Okay, the next thing to go on are the struts. Now, before you bolt these guys on, you're going to have to mount a three and a half inch spacer on top. This is where your lift comes from. Fortunately, they just bolt on using some supplied hardware. Now, before you put the struts on, there is something else that needs some attention, your axles. With a three and a half inch lift, those are going to be too short. So the kit comes with a one inch spacer. It's going to mount here, and that's going to lengthen the axle. Then just reassemble everything. Hey, welcome back to Gears, where we are walking you through the steps of putting a Skyjacker three and a half inch lift on a Cadillac Escalade. Now, some of you might be wondering, why in the world would you want to lift a Cadillac? Well, first of all, it's cool. 
Second of all, under the skin, the Cadillac Escalade is pretty much the same as any GM truck or SUV, so it's an easy thing to do. Now, as you can see, the front lift is in place. It's all put back together. What's sitting there on the table is what goes on the rear. Here's how it goes on. Unbolt the stock shock at the bottom, then remove the sway bar end links and the lower control arm. Now just lower the axle and remove the springs. All right, since the Skyjacker lift is designed to lower the axle to give us the lift that we need, we're gonna need longer control arms, longer sway bar end links, and of course, longer coil springs. Now, a couple of special brackets that come with the kit are the shock relocation brackets and the bump stop brackets. The new bump stop brackets just bolt to the axle. Follow that with the new lower control arms. And don't forget to grease them or they'll squeak on you. The shock brackets fit in the stock shock pocket to raise the mounting point of the shock. Now slide the new coil springs in and jack up the axle to hold them in place. Finally, put on the new sway bar end links and reconnect the shocks. And that's what's involved in lifting a Cadillac Escalade three and a half inches. But we're not completely done yet. We still need to put wheels and tires on this thing. And those are right over there. Now I know some of you are probably wondering, didn't you just mess up the ride of this Cadillac by putting a three and a half inch lift on it? No, man, that's the magic of this Skyjacker system. Remember, we reused all the stock air shocks, the leveling system, most of the springs. This thing's gonna ride just like it did before, like a Cadillac. The only real difference is it's three and a half inches higher. And for a hardcore off-road guy like Jason Sturgeon, that's gonna make all the difference in the world.